I'm Tim Garland. You're listening to the Trail Connection Podcast. Tell you what, man, I can't believe how fast time flies. I'm learning that as I grow up and become an older adult, but uh, it seems like every single year flipping off the calendar quicker and quicker. But this one definitely has. Today marks one year since the first episode ever of the Trail Connection podcast, and I cannot believe that we are here at this point. It's September 12th, 2019 was the first episode released of the trail connection and that began in my backyard with me spilling my heart out to you guys in front of a little campfire and uh, telling you all about how I got here and how this whole thing started and it was emotional and it was uh, it was true and it was genuine and I feel like that was well received from all of you who have listened to it because that's still to this day the most listened to episode of the trail connection and i come to you today one year later from that night deeply humbled and uh, extremely grateful that uh, i'm still putting out stuff on the internet <laughs> it's uh it's pretty crazy to me that it's been a year since then and um, i'm still going and i still have people listening and following and all that good stuff but like I said it's it's really really humbling because there's so many different options out there for you guys to listen to and for the folks who have been tuning in or gradually coming and turning tuning in along the way I think that it's it's so cool it's really impressive that uh, you know I can take a few minutes and record some thoughts and there's people out there who actually want to hear that stuff so thank you very much so Today I uh, wanted to just do a real quick recap of the first year, not the way that I intended this episode to go, you know, from the beginning. I was hoping that we'd be wrapping up our 26th episode and my book would be released and I would have had traveled out to Cal or out towards uh, the, the West Coast, out towards Colorado, Utah, Nevada, all those areas out there and that hasn't happened yet, but that's okay. You know, uh, we make plans, and if they don't go that way, you just adapt and you keep going. And so that's what I'm doing. And uh, it's, this year's looked a little differently than I think anybody has anticipated it looking. But um, <laughs> it's it's what you get when you go through the twilight zone, I guess. So anyway, um, I just wanted to take a few minutes today to recap a little bit about uh, where we've been and. Uh, thank each one of the guests that have made this possible and uh, who've come on and and spent some time talking with me and um, then give a little outlook on what, what we're planning on doing for the next uh, next little while here on the trail connection so first off you know I want to thank Joseph Maydell for sharing some of Florida's beautiful scenery that I hadn't seen before on our, on our kayak episode that we went to Juniper Run in the Ocala National Forest. And uh, Justin Faking for coming on and doing a little campfire cooking with me and sharing some about his love for land preservation and, and the hope for our future generations that we're growing that will have a similar love for the outdoors. You know, and... Um, our uh, 
me and Brad did our little little hike on the AT. So Brad O'Hearn, <laughs> the uh, unofficial executive producer of the Trail Connection, uh, he's been a great uh, great help and and great uh, person to to share some feedback on and and uh, some fu- future plans of the show. He's he's offered some really good advice and continues to be a big fan and supporter of the show. So big shout out to him and uh kale and kale andrews and matt johnson coming on and doing a little debate of uh hammocks versus tents you know both those guys are really really special to me i've known them for a really long time and um, have both had different impacts in my life along the way and uh, so it was really awesome to have them come on and record probably one of my favorite episodes to date of uh, of the trail connection and uh so i was really pumped about that and then, you know, having an opportunity to try to convert one of my buddies, Warren, Warren Curry, on uh, giving him an opportunity to come out and see what camping can be like then when it's fun and enjoyable. And uh, I'm pretty sure he still wants to come out this year when weather changes. So thanks, Warren, for, for coming out and, and having that experience. And I got to sit down with my dad a little bit earlier this year and, and talk a little bit about this crazy quarantine and how we can all benefit from it, you know, uh, with the forced blessing of being around family and we reflected a little bit on my childhood and things that may have encouraged me or geared me towards spending some time outdoors. Um, and I, that's a special episode for me. I, I really enjoyed doing that. And I had an opportunity to have uh, Crystal and Perry Alonzo come on and share some experience from their uh, backpacking adventures and national park uh, exploration so far they've they've gotten quite a few of them ticked off the list and so that was really cool to have them come on and um, you know Kurt Walker uh, recently in the last episode that we put out coming on and talking about uh, our fire starters and shelters and wet gear and all that stuff and offering his advice as an experienced hiker it's always it's so cool to catch up with folks that uh, I've known for a long time, and like we said in that episode, you know, you just recently come to come to the realization that they have the same love of the same hobby that you do. So that's always really cool. And then uh, an episode that's coming out here this next week, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I had a chance to meet somebody new. You know, I interviewed or had had a had a show with uh, Paul Vizinski of the Aptitude Outdoors podcast, and um, He's a, he's a cool guy. He's a really cool guy. First ever uh, interview I've had with the AT through hiker. And um, I really enjoyed that episode a lot. I think you guys will too. He's fun. He's, uh, he's energetic. And uh, he's just got some really cool stuff to share. And there's just, there's just been such a, an awesome, encompassing feeling I've had, you know, thinking back on this past year and everything that that's gone on and you know where we're at and why I'm still here you know I've had an opportunity to just uh, connect with folks in a way that you just can't if you aren't talking about stuff that you love and um, it's really awesome that there's so many people out there who have a similar love and passion for the outdoors and finding all that you can from the benefits of enjoying it and being outside in it and so um you know I've, I've really enjoyed reconnecting with some of these folks that i've known for a while making new connections making new friends and um there's just so much more of that ahead that uh, it excites me and it makes me want to keep going and uh ramp it up and um you know like i said it, i didn't think that i'd be celebrating one year of being on the air with uh just a walk in the woods behind my house but you know, it's great that I have the opportunity to do this and that I'm still still going strong because in the past, you know, any kind of small hiccup or, or delay or, you know, change of plans might have discouraged me from, from continuing. And so I'm really, I'm thankful for all of you who have tuned in and encouraged and supported the show and uh, and made me want to keep going and, and keep keep doing this. And so I'm ready. I'm ready for another year of the Trail Connection. I'm ready to wrap up this first season 
Uh, I've still got several episodes planned out that I'm going to try to get accomplished before we call it call it a first season and move on. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see how things progress and see how things roll out. You know, it's been kind of funny the last few few months, so we'll see how it goes. And I want to take a minute here to just uh, give a quick shout out to some folks who have supported the show all the way along the way, and mostly from social media accounts and and uh, on Instagram, Facebook, things like that. Um, Texas Trailhead Podcast, Danny, I really appreciate it, man. You have been such a big support since the very beginning, and uh, I'm honored that uh, you claim that I, I inspired you to start your podcast. Uh, that's really humbling, and it's really cool. To see you do that um you know i think that you're doing really great things helping people out with uh finding joy and peace from being outdoors and the benefits that come the from all that that can aid with mental health and and um just physical activity that's really really cool and i think it's awesome how you document all the uh the parks and trails out there in texas for people to just get that information in a, in a great source and so keep doing what you're doing man um big fan and i'm hoping that we get a chance to collaborate here sometime in the near future also the 46 of 46 podcast um you know it's it's been really really cool to see such a professionally done podcast be a fan and be supportive of what i'm doing because i feel very 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 uh, unprofessional most of the time and so um to get that kind of feedback and, and constant encouragement from Someone that I respect and I think is doing a, a fantastic job um, is, is awesome. And so uh, if you guys haven't already or if you, you haven't heard of that podcast, go check it out. It's 46 of 46 podcast. Give, give them a subscription and, and check out his content as well. Same thing for Danny. You know, Go check out his page and give him a like, give him a follow, and uh, check out his podcast as well. And then, again, Paul you know, with Aptitude Outdoors. Um, you know, he, he has been really great at supporting what I do and you'll get to you'll get a little bit of insight as to why you know in this next episode that's coming out here in a couple days and um, I just think it's really cool that someone who can be considered a competitor is uh, so supportive and so encouraging and you know it's it's really cool that we've been able to build a community through a similar love for the outdoors to try to help each other out and uh, just encourage one another to keep doing what we love and um you know that's what this thing's all about you know i i just want to reach as many people as possible and encourage them to find the peace and the joy that i've found just from taking a walk in the woods and uh so if this is the first episode that you uh you're coming across then welcome it's good to have you here on the trail connection looking forward to to reaching out and get to know you a little bit and uh, I, I hope that you take an opportunity to go back and listen to some of the episodes we've put out over the past year. And let me know if you find some encouragement or uh, you find some, some cool information there that you didn't have before. So as always, I want to say a big heartfelt thank you to everybody who takes the time to listen to me. And um, it's been a really great year from an aspect of accomplishing some cool stuff and meeting some cool people. Been a little bit of a rough one for life in general, but that's okay. And uh, we're going to move forward, just going to keep trudging along, just like you do when you meet some hardship and adversity on the trail, you just keep going and keep climbing to the top. And that's, that's what we're going to do. So do me a favor. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast on uh, any of your favorite podcast apps. Give us a subscription on the YouTube channel as well. And uh, give us a like and a follow on Instagram and Facebook. And be on the lookout for the next episode coming out very shortly, in just a few days. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Until next time, I'm Tim Garland, a.k.a. Mitty, and this is The Trail Connection.